Circle Bowl, Ohio, farm with my dad and my brother Wyatt. Wyatt. And um, this is our corn planter. Um, it's a John Deere. I've got the cast iron closing wheels and the Martin floating row rigs. Uh, I've got the 2020 Air Force on here. Uh, and I'm, I'm using the. Um, Think of the name of the seed part of it. First, it's the precision um, meters. It's the air system. Uh, with the sear rye, I've noticed you want to put on, uh, well, just from consultants, you want to put on a good bit of nitrogen uh, because the, the sear rye will steal the nitrogen out of the soil, the, 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 the natural nitrogen. So you want to put down. Uh, 30 pounds at least, or about 30 pounds an end with your corn planter if you're following cereal rye, which, which we're doing in corn, uh, to help that seedling get along. Two by two, well, it's kind of like two, two inches over. It's not two inches deep, obviously, but uh, with the John Deere openers on it, uh, for the 30 pounds a hand. And then I like the floating row rigs, just makes the unit ride smoother. And the cast iron closing wheel, sometimes we need it if we're in some heavier stuff with the sod, but I don't know if that's completely necessary, but we like them. Um, I like three bushel boxes on here. I know a lot of guys have air, air systems to blow it out there. They have, they have issues with larger seed. Um, getting out to the outside rows, they don't have that problem. A little more to lift the boxes around, but we seem to get along with this unit pretty good.